And so there it is. There's everything. If you wanted to see the Vigilant Christian exposed, there he is. Disgusting, eh? I know. I know. <laughs> the God is a God of grace and mercy. This weekend, I'm five days sober, praise God. I'm so broken. Oh. So this weekend, I went to a men's conference. The Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, Mario, and he did an altar call after for men who wanted to recommit themselves to the Lord. And I went up weeping with tears. And the Lord spoke to me and said, by his spirit in my heart, Mario, you're going to get another chance to do this because I'm a merciful God. I don't care about your sin. I have died for it. I'm a God of mercy and grace and you're my son and I love you. But I need you to commit to sobriety. Not only me, but being sober. Sobriety has to be the most important thing in your life moving forward with me. In the Bible, by the way, Jericho is where the walls fell down. And these are walls in my life I haven't been able to tear down. And I think now through this, God is finally going to tear down my walls <laughs> and allow me into the promised land. I've been wandering in the desert and I need those Jericho walls to fall and I'm going to Jericho Road. <laughs> and I still was caught in that filth. There is no greater sinner than that. I believe that's worse than murder. I know Jesus. <laughs> So if God can have mercy and grace on me, he can have mercy on you. Oh, trust me, he can. And I, I, I'm excited. Because this is gross. This is sick. This isn't me. If you're stuck being who deep down you know you're not, please seek God and get help. And I don't know why I do it. I'm stupid. I know there's no fulfillment in those things, but yet I like a stupid dog going to eat its vomit, I go back to it. Alright, I just wanted to show you this uh, Vigilant Christian Mario, you know, I, I did some stuff exposing him. Uh, if you don't know what happened to him about a year ago or so, back in February 2019, he was exposed uh, as being a pervert and was basically exposed as, as sending pornographic images and basically flirting with all these different girls and everything like that. And he basically claims that he this point he, he said oh my goodbye video and then basically like, like a month later he comes up with another video so it's like it's just funny that this guy he does this all the time he'll say my goodbye video and then like, like a day later new video you know but you're just gonna see this this professional just grade a acting in these videos and and, and, and by the way uh you're saying why are you attacking when he's when he was down um because he's a liar you know i used to follow the guy but He's been caught in many, many lies. Um, you can't trust the guy. You know, I, again, I used to support the guy, but um, his fake video where he was responding to the, the accusations, he was saying, oh, God was, was chastening me. No, you got caught, and you're trying to do damage control. You know, you, you best, and, and, he, and he puts on, like, he does this all the time. He basically will, will cry and everything like that, and he's acting. So basically the kids, that, like the little children, that keep, because he, his followers are mostly just little kids, and they'll keep following him and keep sending him their money. So that's why he just does these, this acting and this uh, fake crying. It, it just, it really is funny. It's just great A acting. But, uh, and again, he, he's doing this because he's basically, he knows he got caught um, in his sin. And he's basically doing damage control by just act. <laughs> just, it, you, you have to see it to believe it. It's just hilarious. Check, this is the first clip. So I need to step away and work on my relationship with God. My relationship with him is what matters most. More than my love for YouTube, more than my love for interacting and being around all of you, my faith family. I know some of you are gonna be upset and think that this is the devil, but I'm telling you it's not. It's not the enemy that's convincing me to step away. I clearly heard this by the Holy Spirit when I've been taking time with him. God wants me to um, <laughs> step away so I can really get healed 
once and for all. <laughs> I mean, this, this is this is total acting. I mean, oh, I'm at a loss for words. I mean, total total complete acting. And I can guarantee you that I'll never come back until I do. And even then, I need to listen to the guidance of what God is going to tell me to do. Maybe he has something different for me. I don't know. Right now, I don't know. But whatever it is, I need to be willing to be obedient to, <laughs> to it. And sacrifice things that I love. What an actor. I, um, I started a program. It's called Life Lab. If you guys are fam- I started it last week. It's a five-month <laughs> program that's given by my local church. And oh, 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 local church, um, chapter and verse, please. Where is local churches found in the Bible? The, asse- the assembling of believers is found in the Bible, but where are quote unquote local churches found? They're not found in the Bible. Just wanted to point that out. It's a journey from ashes to rubies. And it's a very thorough, big program. If you're familiar with um, Celebrate Recovery, I Am Second, or other programs that are created for Christians and others to seek freedom, it's a very similar program to that. And the Lord clearly told me that while I go through this five-month program, I can't be creating content. I can't take you... God told you you can't be creating content. Um, you don't know God, buddy. You, you, don't, uh, you don't know God. Um, God told you that you can't be creating content. Um, God speaks to you through his word. Okay? I mean, if I, he does this all the time. Oh, God, show me this. God, reveal this to me. When God didn't reveal anything to him, you know? Again, this is just a whole charade. So people, his little child followers will keep sending him their money. But this next clip, oh, he's going to rehab for nine months. He gets kicked out after, after like three or six months of rehab, you know? Yeah. I mean, you gotta wonder, you gotta wonder. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, don't, don't, you know, quote me on this, but you gotta wonder if he if he even went to rehab, because you know he's there, and they just you know because he's gotta keep making the money. So, you know, yeah, because you just don't you know you just don't get kicked out of rehab like that. You know, anyway, you know, hold the video, but check this out. <laughs> I need to go to rehab, and I've been needing to go for a long time. It's the only way I'm gonna get better. I really didn't want to go at first. You know, it's a lot to give up your phone, your freedom, everything, and go in a a house and live with ten other guys. And it's the only way I'm gonna get better. You know, I was denying it for a while, and uh, God showed me a vision because I was praying about it. Yeah, he, he, God showed me a vision. Okay, um, book, chapter, and verse, please. You know, God speak to, speaks to us through his word. Okay? I mean, does he, does he think he's like some kind of prophet or whatever? I mean, again, this is total acting. He's, he's doing this so his, his, um, this, this child keeps doing this so people will keep sending him their money. And again, most of this is just because he gets caught in this, this uh, sexual perversion, this, this pornography and all this other stuff. And he's trying to do damage control so people, his followers will keep sending him their money. I said, you know, God, I want to do your will, and if you want me in rehab, then uh, I'll go, but it's got to be you leading me there. And um, he showed me one of the rooms, and uh, he gave me a vision of it. And uh, he, the Holy Spirit imprinted Dreamer and a vision. That's what it is. God, God even showed him the room of the, you know. Okay, again, chapter, I mean, the, the visions were for the prophets in the Old Testament. Um, the, uh, the sign gifts are not for us today. They're for the Jews in the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, God doesn't give us, like, visions and everything like that today. Okay, he reveals things to us through us, to us through his word. Okay, um, he, again, he does this all the time. Oh, God, give me a vision. You know, when God didn't give him anything. I all my heart. Mario, come here so I can heal you. Come here so I can deal with this. And so I'm going to go. I'm going to go meet God in rehab. Wow. Because <laughs> I'm ashamed of who I am. Yeah. I'm tired of the relapses. I'm tired of the defeat. 
I'm tired of the guilt <coughs> oh, and the shame. Back. And I finally come to the place in my life where I've surrendered and I'm humbly asking for help. I can't do that. How about you get saved? Then God will clean things up. You know, get repent, get truly born again. Okay? And he says, you know, he talks about the thing of the uh, him being exposed. Oh, God was chasing him. No, he just got exposed. If if he was truly saved, God would have would have dropped him dead. Like I'd say, like years, like just a long time ago, he would have he would have got severely chastened years ago. Okay, he's a false convert. You know, he he needs to repent to get truly born again. This myself, I need professional help. I need nine months. You know. Nine months is how long it takes to make a baby. I need nine months where my phone's taken away and I'm put in a treatment home. It's a Christian ministry, by the way. I'll tell you a little bit about it. But I need that. And, and I then he goes into the whole thing. But again, this is just total great A acting. You know, he, he quote unquote goes to rehab, but then he, then he comes back like like six or three months later. I don't know exactly. Um, like, did he even go to rehab? You know, you, you just don't get kicked out that soon. You know? It's it's just crazy. He's he's doing this, so his gullible followers will basically keep feeling sympathy for him, and they'll keep sending him their money, even all all, all the perversion he's been caught, get, get, been exposing and caught, and all this other stuff. You know, it's a total just total acting. So, I wanted to bring that out. Uh, he's a he's a heretic. He he does. You know, I do feel bad for him. You know, uh, I do feel bad for him because he if he doesn't repent, he will, um, you know, f get actual punishment from God. But you know, I, I do want him to repent. I do hope he does repent uh, before it's too late. So, yeah, uh, don't be deceived by the uh, vigilant, quote-unquote, Christian. Uh, he's not a Christian. He's a false convert. He can become a Christian if he gets truly born again by repentance towards God. You you, you come to the end of your self-righteousness. You come, you put your faith in Jesus Christ, and you call upon the name of the Lord. Romans 10, uh, verse 9 to 13. Okay? You get truly born again, then God will help you clean things up. Okay? So, yeah, I want to bring that out. He's a total actor. He, he just wants money. He, he's doing this because he wants to keep up the, the rates of money he gets. So, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.